For thanks because God is good. Let's lift up our voice and begin to thank God. We have come here to celebrate the fulfillment of prophecy. We have come here to give God thanks for grace that has kept us. Let's lift up our voice and begin to thank God because God has done us well. For his hand in Covenant University for his help, for his grace, for his favor. Let's lift up our voice and begin to give God thanks. Father, we have come to say thank you. We bless your name because you are a good God. There is none like you. There is none beside you. Jesus, we have come to say thank you for all of the things you are doing for us, for all of the accolade for all of the breakthrough. No man can arrogate him to himself but to you, O oh God. And that's why we have come, because we are not ungrateful. Father, we give you thanks. Are you thanking God? Are you blessing his name? Father, we have come to say thank you. It is not unto us. No, not unto us, but unto you, Jesus come to say thank you. Lord, everything you said have come to pass, and so we are grateful. Jesus, we bless your name, because who is he that said and he come to pass if you have not commanded it? And because you have done so, we have returned with a loud voice. Jesus, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. We give you praise because they got not the land in their hand, but by, by their hand. No, by, by, by your right hand, by the light of your countenance. Why? Because your grace and your favor has kept us. Jesus, we say thank you. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We honor you. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and begin to worship the name of the Lord this morning. If you're truly grateful to Jesus, lift up your hands and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Raton de Belakila Sute Balada. Oh, worship the King of Glory this morning. Ritum de Balada Balako Shada Balada. Thank you, Jesus. Ratum de Balashike Balada. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful, Jesus. We are grateful, Jesus. We worship your name. Thank you, Jesus. As we worship and behold your face, the light of your countenance shines on us. As we ride at your light. And as we worship and behold your face, the light of your countenance shines on us. As we ride at your light. 
up my voice I will joyfully sing not for what you have done for us but for who you are you are the song that I sing melody in my heart the reason we live today is to praise you Lord I will lift up my voice You have, done. you have done for me and for all you are. You are the song that I sing. The song that I sing. Melody, in my heart. Melody in my heart. The reason I live, reason I live is to praise you, Lord. Praise One more time, I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing. sing. Not for what you have done for us. Your voice, he raised, he raised, he raised, he raised. 
Praise the Lord. 
We may please be seated. Our God has been good to us. Our God has been merciful to us. So it's only appropriate this morning that we give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. First, with a round of applause, let's appreciate the Most High God for all he has been to us these 21 years. But in a place of prayer, we will yet be thanking God. And it's my privilege at this time to respectfully invite Pastor Midera to take us on the Thanksgiving prayer one, and afterwards, Pastor Judah Ola for prayer two. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll be rising shortly as we go before the Lord in quality thanksgiving for all he's been doing for us these past 21 years in Covenant University. We'll be giving him thanks in this manner. Father, thank you for confirming every prophetic word concerning Covenant University with diverse breakthrough testimonies since inception. Somebody say a loud amen to that. Psalm 115 and verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Please, let's rise together. Let's give him thanks this morning. Father, thank you for confirming every prophetic word concerning Covenant University with diverse breakthrough testimonies since inception in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice, heavenly one, this morning. Let's go before the Lord in quality thanksgiving. Let's thank him for the testimonies. Let's thank him for the great work that he's been doing since the inception of this university till day. The Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been faithful. He has proved himself mighty on the behalf of Covenant University and every one of us here. Let's give him thanks this morning. Let's glorify him this morning. Let's magnify him this morning. Jesus, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for confirming every prophetic word concerning your university with diverse breakthrough testimonies since the beginning. To you alone, O oh Lord, behold the glory. To you alone, O oh Lord, behold the glory. Are you giving him thanks? Is the Lord hearing your whole voice of thanksgiving? Lord, we glorify your holy name. Father, we worship you, Lord Jesus. It is his hand that is at work in this university. That is the reason all the hackles have been coming like a torrent of the rain. Let's give him thanks this morning. Let's glorify him this morning. Let's worship him this morning. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. He deserves it. We must give it to him lavishly this morning. Let's give it to him this morning. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your name for confirming every prophetic word concerning this university with diverse breakthrough testimonies since inception. We give you thanks. We have returned today like that one leper with thanksgiving. We have returned this morning like that one leper saying thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Whatsoever testimonies have been recorded, whatsoever breakthrough has been recorded, all of them have come by your mighty hand. We cannot take your hand for granted, Jesus. We thank you, our God and our King, for confirming every prophetic word concerning Covenant University with diverse breakthrough testimonies since inception. Father, we give you praise. Are you still thanking him? Is the Lord hearing your own personal word of thanksgiving? Let the Lord hear your own personal word of thanksgiving this morning. Let your voice of thanksgiving be registered in heaven this morning. Let's do it well. Empower it in the language of the Spirit this morning. Zakembo te telo brakatalo, e kemba tata, e kombo te telo brakambo zezeloa. Only your hand could have done the kind of thing we are seeing in Covenant University. Father, we give you thanks. Father, we give you praise for confirming every prophetic word concerning Covenant University with diverse breakthrough testimonies right from the beginning. 
right from the beginning, right from the beginning, your presence in the university is awesome. You do wonders, wonders without number. We give you thanks this morning. We give you thanks this morning. We have come intentionally to say thank you, Lord Jesus. Wave your hand to him this morning in appreciation of all that he's been doing in our midst. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' great name, we have given thanks. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. Next, we shall be rising to give God quality thanks. And this time we are saying, Father, thank you for the ever-rising profile of Covenant University globally and the testimonies of the impact of our graduates in all facets of human endeavors. A stronger and better, amen. Psalm 118 and verse 23. Not this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Shall we please rise as we raise our voices this morning, giving God quality thanks, saying, Father, thank you for the ever-rising profile of Covenant University globally and the testimonies of the impact of our graduates in all facets of human endeavors. Raise your voices this morning as we together, from the depth of our hearts, Return the glory and the honor to God our Father, the doer of every strange work and every strange act in our midst. Let's raise our voices as we say, Father, thank you for the ever rising profile of Covenant University globally. First in Nigeria, first in West Africa, fourth in Africa. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. Someone truly grateful to the Lord this morning. Let's raise our voices as we magnify him. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the honor. Let us give him the praise that is due to him. Our Father, thank you for the ever-rising profile of Covenant University globally and the testimonies of the impact of our graduates in all facets of human endeavors everywhere our graduates have found the testimonies of impact in a tingling. Our Father, we are grateful. Our Father, we are thankful. Our Father, we give you all the glory. These are your doings. They are marvelous in our eyes. Someone truly grateful to the Lord. Raise your voice. Raise your hands. Together, let us return the glory. No man can see the things that we see except God be with him. Our Father, we thank you. Our Father, we acknowledge you. Our Father, we appreciate you. Someone thank him some more. God commands thanksgiving. God demands thanksgiving. God deserves thanksgiving. These are the doings of the Lord. Our ever-rising profile as a university globally, the hand of God is behind it. Let us give him thanks. Let us give him praise. Let us magnify him. Let us appreciate him for the testimonies of the impact of all our graduates in all facets of human and divorce across the nations of the earth. The testimonies have been the same. Let us give him thanks. Let us give him praise. Everywhere eagles are found, they have been swearing high and high and high, commanding attention across the nations of the earth. Let us appreciate him. Let us magnify him. Let us thank him. He deserves it. He deserves it. Let's return it to him. Do it lavishly this morning. You can thank him in the spirit. You can thank him in your understanding. But ensure you are engaging from the depth of your heart. Our Father, we thank you for the ever-rising profile of Covenant University. Globally, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We magnify your name. We celebrate your faithfulness. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. There has not been a better last year. There has not been a better yesterday. Our Father, we thank you. You have kept our path as a university shining brighter and brighter across the nations. We are grateful. We are thankful. The testimonies of the impact of our graduates in all facets of human endeavors across the nations of the earth. Our Father, we magnify you. We give you praise. Someone thank him some more. Engage the Holy Ghost as we perfect our thanksgiving this morning. He that give it thanks in the spirit, he dwelt it well. Raise your hands. Raise your voices. Magnify him. Maria Tenish Katari and Danato. Eperia Kataria. Mere Kotushke Peria Disasia. Arutoske Peria and Danatenia Kata. For the ever rising profile of Covenant University globally and the testimonies of the impact 
of our graduates in all facets of human endeavors. These are your doings. They are marvelous in our eyes. Take all of the glory. Take all of the honor. In the name of Jesus, we have given thanks. Please give the Lord a big clap of praise and you may be comfortably seated. One more time, we're all welcome to this 21st anniversary celebration service. But to bring us the word of welcome, may I respectfully invite the Secretary Board of Regent, Pastor David Oyedeko Jr. Please put your hands together as it comes forward. Hallelujah. This morning, on behalf of the Chancellor, the Board of Regents, Covenant University, Dr. David Oedeko, and also the Pro-Chancellor, Bishop David Abioye, and the Board of Regents, I want to welcome everyone to this 21st anniversary celebration service. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. And we take our welcome word this morning from the book of Psalm chapter 115 and verse 1. It says, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and truth's sake. There is no doubt that the adventure of Covenant University from inception till now has been loaded with ever-increasing glory. At the inception, the Chancellor said that Covenant University will be a new generation Harvard. And we have seen God catapulting the university from one level of glory to another. From the last report, we saw Covenant University number one in Nigeria, number one in West Africa, number four in Africa, ever increasing weights of glory have been our experience. And why have we gathered here this morning? For one purpose and one purpose alone. Say not unto us, not unto us, but unto thy name we give glory and praise. Every glory Covenant University has tasted is the product of the hand of God. And that is why we have come today to return all of the glory back to the originator. And as we do that, we shall yet see greater dimensions of glory. That means in the coming year, it shall be greater glory. In the years ahead, it shall be greater glory. And we'll keep going from one level of glory to another. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen. And the beauty is that with God, there is no end to increasing glory. The Bible says... That we are with open face beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord. We are changing to the same image from glory to glory to glory to glory. So the next 21 years, it shall be from glory to glory to glory to glory. Somebody believe you say a loud amen. Therefore, our task here today is very simple. We must return the glory to the doer. Everything marvelous, everything glorious, everything colorful, about Covenant University is simply the hand of God at work. It is not human expertise. It is not human capacity. It is not human wisdom. It is the hand of God at work. And for it this morning, we have come to give God the glory. In your seated position, will you lift your hand before the Lord and just give glory unto him. Lord, for all that we have seen since the inception of Covenant University till date, we have come to return glory to you, to return honor to you, to return adoration to you. Accept our thanksgiving and blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Once again, you are welcome. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. Thank you very much, sir. Please, if you do have testimonies in this last 21 years, or even last year, or five years ago, of what God did for you on this ground, we have ministers right at the back to take your testimonies, faculty, staff, and students. You've experienced the hand of God on this campus 
Since you joined Covenant University, there are ministers out there waiting to receive your testimonies. But at this time, the Bible tells us clearly in the book of Psalm 150, it says, praise him with a sound of trumpet, praise him with a psaltery and a harp, praise him with a timbrel and a dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. May I now invite the Covenant University music team for their instrumentals.
wondrous things on this ground to lead us during this testimony session may I respectfully invite Pastor Itai to lead this session Man, for that glorious ministration by the choir shall we put our hands together for Jesus again Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10, he said, I've gone so far because the hand of God and his grace has been upon his life. For these past 21 years, the grace of God, the hand of God is so visible, it's so real. The life of our students, faculty and staff, it is testimony time. Let the following come quickly to share their testimony, Professor Vincent. 
Dr. Wisdom Oluwayemi, Mrs. Oluyemi C. L. As you hear your name, come quickly for the students. Ogun Shola, Joseph, Ayodele, Olua Tomishi, Esther Adebogun, Victor Echo. Praise the Lord. Come quickly. What the Lord has done in your life for these past 21 years is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm a bundle of testimony on this grant of Covenant University. I really do not know where to start, but I just summarize a few, especially about my life and the life of my children. Proud to journey Covenant University, I was at Ignatia University, and then I had an admission to do my doctorate degree at the University of Benin, but financially I was stagnated. I could not, you know, raise the money to do that. However, when God brought me to this place, he opened the door for me. I was given instant admission to pursue my PhD program in Covenant University free of charge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also my children were seriously stagnated. They were not making progress at all. I joined Covenant University in November 2006. However, I was coming from Yanukwaja all the time to work here. But one day, I, I told myself, what am I doing? I have an opportunity to live on campus. Why am I suffering? I mean, let me go to the campus. That was how I came to live on campus, August 2007. And as soon as I came in, progress began. One of my children, the fourth of them, got admission here. I said, Simeon, where do you think I will be able to raise the money to pay for your school fees? Please get to University of Benin and do your post UTMA. The boy was crying. To cut the long story short, God helped me. Even the money, you know, with which we bought the farm was borrowed. And I went to, I went to the bank as CMFB. That was where we got a loan. The other children, my first son, that was when he sat up. My, the child was in, at 200 level when he got admission to Unibem. Three other ones got admission at Landmark. The, my daughter got, had a scholarship. She read a Greek, had a scholarship to his 400 level. I did not pay a dime. It was only his 500 level I was able, I was told to pay his school fees, her school fees. Then, one of them that is a, a lecturer here today, also had admission in Covenant University and was on 25% scholarship. God really has done great things for me. My very first night here at Covenant University, Papa appeared to me in the dream. He said, don't mind them. They cannot do you anything. I was wondering. I didn't, in fact, I did not even take, you know, notice of that uh, uh, prophetic word. By the time I woke up, there was nothing obviously wrong with me. But over the years, I should have died. But thank God for that prophetic word. God helped me, strengthened me. To God alone be all the glory. Your name, what the Lord has done just in one minute. What the Lord has done, your name, beginning with your name. My name is Mrs. Lera Muluayemisi. I just want to appreciate God for making me to be alive today. I'm one of the pioneer staff in Covenant University. I resumed in Covenant University October 18, 2002. Since that time up to this moment, God has been strengthening me. Hope Fallow of Covenant University is the one that sustained my life up to this moment. I could remember when we got wedded, uh, we have, uh, I want to have a set of twins then. The doctor in VC that time, we are using youth chapel. She was telling us that ah, she cannot deliver twins so because he has not do cesarean operation for twins that then. He put call through our Lord Bishop, Bishop Oyedepo then. 
Bishop came to theater. He anointed my tummy. He said, receive your babies alive. And I receive it. I say, amen. And lo and behold, we brought out the twins. Because then they said the twins are bringing boots from that time. They can, I cannot deliver them. I give God all the glory. Those twins now, one of them is in 200 level. The second one will soon enter university this year. I want to return glory back to God. Because before I even do the interview in Common University, when we got wedded in 1999, I was selling sobo. Pastor Nathaniel then, he was the registrar. He saw me when they are doing, building this Covenant University. He said, you, are you not Sunday's wife? You, the way you are, can do this work, you can work better. He said, I should come for interview in Raji Oba. And he, during that interview, they even put it that not admissible. He canceled it. He said, I've seen one factual in this woman. It can be admissible. Up to now. God has been sustaining me. I've worked in different departments. I give God the glory. I don't have any issue with anybody. And God has been sustaining me. We give God praise. God has not left us without a witness. Your name? Hallelujah. My name is Wisdom. I want to return all the glory to God. I came to this commission May 5, 2002. and privileged to begin... Um, appointment at Covenant October 20, 2008. Yesterday made it exactly 15 years. I've returned to give God all the glory for his mercy, for his grace. Upon this campus, I came to this campus then in 2002 when I was in Faith Academy with just one traveling bag. But today, I want to thank God because the least of the blessing cannot even enter into that traveling bag that I brought to Covenant, to, to uh, Canaan land. I want to thank God on this mountain he settled my marital destiny. The enemy tried to strike, and God resettled again my marital destiny. I want to thank God. I came here without direction. God gave me a PhD, gave me international award. I want to just return all the glory to God because the blessing is countless, and I thank him for perfect health also. I mean, God has been keeping us in good health. He blessed us with children. I want to return all the glory to him. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate him for enlightenment. That can only be God. Your name? Praise God. My name is Ogun Shola Obalelu Ajeta. I want to thank God for everything he has done for me. The caption of my testimony is the hand of God. I want to thank God for bringing me into this university. I was told after graduating secondary school that I was going to go abroad for my tertiary education. But I thank God because I'm here. I want to say that I would not have it any other way but Covenant University. I want to thank God for my spiritual growth, financial blessings. For every single person I've met in this university, I want to say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. My name is Ayodele Luatunche, 400 Religious Administration. Um, the caption of my testimony is thanking God for his faithfulness. Ever since I've entered this university since January 2021, I've seen God's hand mightily in my life, diverse testimonies for his healing, for his provision, for his protection over my life, over my family, and I've come back to say thank you, Jesus. To him alone be all the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise God. My name is Ayebogun. My name is Ayebogun Esther. I'm in industrial mathematics. So I want to thank God for his faithfulness. The title of my testimony is God is Faithful. Um, me being in this school is nothing but a testimony because I was never meant to be here in the first place. But I'm grateful to God for bringing me here, for every opportunity I've experienced, for every achievement I've made. Because since I've been in this school, I've experienced the faithfulness of God in all areas of my life, spiritually, academically, financially, even in my business. The Lord has been faithful. He has given me creative ideas. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. My name is Victor Iliko. I would love to thank the God of wonders, the God who breaks protocols, and the God who strengthens us beyond our capacity. So I 
right from my 100 level, I had a good result from the start. But over the years, I began to notice that my result was somehow dropping. It was reducing, and it bothered me a lot. However, last semester, I received the word from God during the services and um, from um, fellow Christians around me. And the word was that the result I had the previous semester was going to be the lowest yet. Throughout the course of the semester, I was empowered spiritually. I developed capacity, even from reading one of the books from um, the Chancellor, God's servant, Pastor Bishop Oedipo. I read Ruling Your World, and I got a word during the service that every negative trend was going to be destroyed. To the glory of God, this past semester, the Lord surprised me with a wonderful 5.0 result. I want to thank God for strengthening me giving me ability beyond my own and capacity beyond my own. I just want to thank the God of wonders. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. In our seated position, let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for this wonderful testimony. Because he's the doer, because he's the doer, Father, we thank you to you alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. For all these wonderful things, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Jesus is the doer of all these great and mighty works. To take us further in this anniversary service, it's my privilege to invite the Covenant University Theatre Group and afterwards, Reflections. Even this promotion that I'm going to get is all for you and the baby. You know, most important is all done. We'll be a family. Be a beautiful family, yeah? Eugenia. We'll be fine, eh? I just need to get going. Let me get going, all right? Let me follow you. Let me follow you. I've okay. told you, relax. Eh? I have everything sorted. Jimo, today is the day of your promotion. Oh, oh, oh. At oh, yeah. least let me follow you. Oh, yeah, outside. let us go. Let us go. Let us go. I shall start my work before they will say Florence does not work in this office. <laughs> Which one is even my own? Florence, Florence. Ah, Jimo, <laughs> ah, ah, where have How you, you been? Uh, How are you now? I'm fine. How are you now? I'm okay. How is your wife? My wife is fine. You know, mm. she's pregnant and everything. Mm. She's you pregnant, told me that uh, you had something to tell me. Oh. Did you buy a car or land? Is it land? land tell me, yeah. tell me. It's, uh, I applied for the managerial post at the office. Oh. It's now. But why did you apply? You can't get it now. Uh, oh. What do you mean by that? Okay, Boris? you've not heard. You know that my director. You know me, I don't like him. So his auntie-in-law's son, he also applied now. And he applied, I applied. What's the big deal now? See me, I know you are qualified. But he's getting the job. Don't you know how our director behaves? Florence, don't talk like that. Stop being Forget negative. about it. What am Stop I being doing? negative. Me, I've sure told you, you can't get the you job. You know what? I think I have to be on my way. I have to have a meeting with the client. Eh. But don't worry. I'll come. I'll give you the good news, eh? Which good news? Flores, Flores. I pray you will still be smiling the next time we meet, though. What's so I have things to do? Oh. Oh, God. It's been such a long day. Ah. So tired. Just, I just want to eat right now. I'm even... Mr. Jimo. <sighs> Mr. Jimo. Oh, you did not hear me. Good evening, ma'am. Keep your greeting to yourself. For how long have you been owing? Well, it's just been a couple of a months. A couple now. of months. A couple of months is almost a year. Is this a joke to you? Am I running a charity? Just... I don't understand. Just give me some more time. I should give you some more time. Please, ma'am. Some more time. Let me break it down for you. It's like you don't get it. If you've not paid my money by this time next week, Mr. Jimo, pack out of my house. Okay. I'm not asking you. I am telling you, pack what? out of my house. I have a pregnant wife. Don't oh, you wow. Understand? Did I impregnate her? 
Did I? And I know you are very stubborn. If you try me, we will meet in court. Rubbish. What is all this? Am I not trying my best? Am I not trying my best? I only want to be a man of it. I'm meant to be the man of a house, but look at me. Oh, God. I have a family to take care of. I don't have money. My baby is coming. The promotion I'm not sure of. We can't pay rent. Jimo, why are you here complaining like this? What happened to you? You don't understand. You understand at us. Jimo, uh -uh, don't, don't say that. Which one is look at us? Jimo. <laughs> He's coming. I will not prepare. Jimo, wait. We have so many things to be thankful to God for. I hear you are complaining, Chimo. Yes, I know we are waiting on God to give us the money for rent, but at least we have a roof over our heads. Chimo, since the day that we came to this house, have we ever looked for food to eat? Chimo, yes, we are waiting on God for promotion, but your job is secure. Chimo, do not give the enemy a way to come and create chaos in our family. Jimo, we have to thank God. We have to thank God. We have to wait on the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says that those who wait upon the Lord, they shall mount on wings like eagles. Jimo, let's thank God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you as a family. Father, we give you praise. Father, we say thank you. Father, I thank you for my husband's job. I thank you for the baby that is coming. Father, we give you praise. Father, that we will not lose sight of all the amazing things that you have done for us. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Let me just, let me, let me get ready. I'll come and eat. You've got your food ready, right? Oh, Jimo. You are, you are just. Hey, should I tell you what? Okay, don't let me tell you. I will change. Let me change. Tell hey, me what. Hey. What do you want to say? Ah, wait. Oh. This one, you are looking good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You still think you are getting the job, Abby? I'm getting the job. Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, you have little. This is your Dilulu. <laughs> I pity you. Let us see. We <laughs> shall see now. Let's work. Oh. Let's get to work. Um, good Dilulu. morning. Um, I'm Mr. Martins, the new general manager. Oh, you are, you are the new general manager? Yes, you are. I am Mr. Jimo, sir. And? Florence, sir. Oh, that's okay. Very nice to meet both of you. I hope we can work together in this department. Oh, no problem, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Wow. Did you see? That's the, that's the new general manager. Hey, did you see how he looks? Such a pleasant man. Did you see his tie? He does not even look qualified. Me, I can smell it. It's not even the uh, tie. Uh, ah, you oh. started, Florence. You are this your mouth. It's oh. not the tie now. Please let me show our work. Don't even worry about it. I'm sure that God has something planned for me. Don't worry about it. Eh? This is not the same God we are serving. Uh, what do you mean by that? He the God I'm serving has my back. Forget it. My uncle. Oh. Let me show our work. What is happening? Uh, do you have that file that um, no, no, no. MD said we should? Let me check. Wait. <laughs> Is this Mr. Jimo? Yes, this is Mr. Jimo. This is Maria Benson calling on behalf of Bonaventure Group of Companies. I hope this call finds you well. We have been carefully observing your professional journey and we are truly impressed with your skills and expertise. It is with pleasure. Hey? All right. As the general understand? manager, please check your email for further information. We look forward to the possibility of having you on board with us. What do you Jesus? I told you God has my back. My uncle. I need to go and celebrate with my father. Okay, you want to celebrate? Like, I need to go give my wife. party. Wait for me now. Yeah, I'll, oh. for you, I'm girl. coming for Keep the party, yo. Oh. I'm sure many of you may be wondering why you're here today. 
God forbid we do not give thanks and God removes his hand from Covenant University. You see, thanking God is a multiplier. When you thank God, you, ha- you are authorized to have more. Look at the life of Jimo. He got more than what he imagined. So let's, under our breath, give thanks to God. Give thanks to God because look at where Covenant University is. Some of us here, some of the lecturers here know where Covenant started. So just thank God under your breath. In the spirit of thanks, please let's welcome the Reflections Ministry Group. It all began with a dream. A dream to create a place where knowledge would be nurtured, talents would be honed, and destinies would be shaped. Bishop David Oedipo, a man of unwavering faith and determination, embarked on a mission to establish a school that would inspire generations to come. As news of this visionary project spread, excitement rippled through the community. Students from far and wide were eager to be part of this educational revolution. The prospect of receiving a world-class education under the guidance of dedicated teachers was a dream come true for many. Thank you, my God. Thank you today. However, no journey is without its challenges. Bishop David Oyedepo faced numerous obstacles. Each step forward seemed like an uphill battle, but his unwavering faith and unyielding determination fueled his resolve to overcome these obstacles. With each setback, Bishop David Oyedepo drew strength from his belief that education was the key to unlocking endless possibilities. He refused to let circumstances dictate the fate of this vision. Instead, he, with the help of God, turned adversity into opportunity and transformed challenges into stepping stones towards success. That vision stands tall as Covenant University. Bishop David Oedipo's legacy is etched in the hearts and minds of the countless students who have passed through its doors. From humble beginnings to a thriving educational institution, Bishop David Oedipo's journey is a reminder that with faith, perseverance, and an unwavering belief in the power of education, dreams can become a reality.
with an unwavering commitment to academic excellence, Covenant University has consistently raised the bar in education. Through cutting edge research, state of the art facilities, and a team of dedicated faculty members, this institution has become a beacon of knowledge and innovation. But it doesn't stop there. Covenant University's impact extends far beyond the classroom walls. Through its emphasis on character development and moral values, it nurtures individuals who not only excel academically, but also possess the integrity and compassion to make a difference in society. And the world has taken notice. Covenant University's achievements have gardened international recognition, placing it among the top universities in Nigeria and Africa. Its commitment to quality education has earned its prestigious rankings and accolades. From being named the best private university in Nigeria by multiple organizations, to achieving high global rankings in various disciplines, Covenant University stands tall as a symbol of excellence in education. Its graduates are sought after by leading companies and institutions worldwide, a testament to the caliber of education they receive. We all enter. We must give it to him as individuals and as a church. We owe him time. He has made all the difference in our midst and in our lives as individuals. For the amazing acts of God on this campus since inception. Let's put those wonderful hands together again for Jesus. He has done us well. And indeed from inception we have had innumerable good reports. Great reports from different quarters. But to bring us the good reports in the last couple of years, please join me as I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor of Covenant University, Professor Abiodun H. Adebayo. Please put your hands together as it comes forward. It's my privilege this morning on this 21st anniversary service celebration of Covenant University to bring forth this good report to the glory of God. Covenant University release of Eagles 2023. The 18th convocation ceremony tagged the release of Eagle was held on Friday, September 29, 2023 to the glory of God and a total of 1,379 students graduated from the institution this academic session. With a total of 283 first-class degree students, which remain the highest first-class ever produced from Covenant University since inception. And the graduation list comprises of 1,175 bachelors and 204 higher degrees in various disciplines. This indeed is the doing of the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. Number two, Covenant hosts the QS African Forum 2023. Covenant University was recently invited by one of the most renowned leading ranking bodies in the world, that is the QS, to host the second edition of the QS African Forum. And the forum was themed Education Africa 2030 and beyond, sustainability and social impact in an African context. And this was successfully hosted by the university on September 4 to 5, 2023. In the words of the host, he said, this is the most Privileged host university, the best ever, you know, event that has had since the inception of the QS African Forum to the glory of God. 
and the feedback has been humbling to the glory of God. And number three, Covenant leads 51 Nigerian universities in first time higher education 2023 sub-Sahara African rankings. Covenant University continues to distinguish herself and underline her competence in Nigerian's tertiary education space and the committee of world institution as she led 51 Nigerian universities on an impressive outing, the first edition of the Times Higher Education 2023 Sub-Saharan African Rankings. I, I thought somebody is clapping for Jesus. And with this outstanding performance, Covenant University emerged as number seventh best in Sub-Saharan African, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and first in Nigeria to the glory of God. And on other rankings, to the glory of God, as Elia mentioned, Covenant leads all Nigerian University in the 51, um, in the maiden edition of the Sub-Saharan ranking, and Covenant emerged as first in Nigeria, first in West Africa, and number seven in Africa. Also, in 2023 Times Higher Education ranking, the World Universities ranking, Covenant equally top 800, led as top 800 globally to the glory of God. And this is out of the 21,319 universities globally to the glory of God. Covenant is the only private university among all of the Nigerian universities in the 2023 rankings, making it the best private university in Nigeria and Africa. And Covenant leads all Nigerian universities in five subject rankings in 2023 World University Rankings. And these disciplines are social sciences, where Covenant led top 300, business and economics, computer science, engineering, and physical science. All of these, Covenant is top 500. And number one in Nigeria today to the glory of God. And Covenant is equally Nigeria's leading research university in the 2023 World University Rankings and ranked 562 globally. And Covenant equally topped 200 global universities in emerging economics university rankings. And Covenant ranked top 400 globally and first among all Nigerian universities ranked in the 2022 Times Higher Impact Ranking. And only this year also, a few weeks ago, Covenant led all Nigerian university in the just released 2024 Times Higher Education Ranking where Covenant is number one in Nigeria and led all other Nigerian universities to the glory of God. And it may interest us to know that we currently have 260 universities in Nigeria as at the time that ranking was reported. In other good reports, Covenant Engineering graduate backs top prize at CODET Competition 2023. Covenant Engineering graduate backs top prize at the CODET competition 2023 organized by the Committee of Deans of Engineering and Technology for Engineering, CODET, uh, where students in Nigeria were gathered for this award. And the winning award was the Road Sweeper Vehicle Project, which was designed to sweep large expanses of land in record time while at the same time taking the stress of the drivers of the vehicle. Uh, this young student from the Department of Mechanical Engineering had earlier in the year won the Southwest Codet competition held at Covenant University to advance to the national finals, which comprised of, from all the geographical locations here in Nigeria. To God be all the glory. 
And next is that Covenant students won the three-line hackathon challenge. The three-line, a tech company recently launched and hosted a hackathon company designed to foster innovation and stimulate high-value actionable ideas by bringing together tech savvy students to collaborate and creatively develop untapped AI opportunities and digital solutions that can effectively transform the payment space. Three of the seven Covenant University teams that participated in the event emerged winners at the grand finale and with cash prize awards of 2 million naira, 1 million naira, and 500,000 for the first, first runner-up and the third position respectively to the glory of God. Next is the Covenant University Enactors team backs Ford Grant for Pet City Project. After winning Enactors Award for three consecutive times, or oh, yes, the Pet City Project has once again proved its viability and originality by bagging a 2,500 500 grant award from the Ford Fund for its performance at the Ford College Community Challenge. And the NACTO CU project titled Pet City emerged as one of the top four projects for the 2022 Ford College Community Challenge, that is the Ford C3, founded by Ford Motor Company. And the international grant competition was launched in the United States in 2008 and it empowers college students to envision and lead positive change within their communities. To God be the glory. Next, Covenant University student won the Nigerian, that is the NSCHE Tech Viz Competition. Covenant University bagged first position with a cash prize among the four universities within Lagos, Ogun, Ota chapter, offering chemical engineering at the just concluded Nigerian Society of Chemical Engineering Students Competition. The four universities within Lagos and Ogun chapter offering chemical engineering as a course that participated in the competition were Covenant University coming first position. University of Lagos coming second position. Lagos State University coming third position. And Lagos State University of Science and Tech with fourth position. All to the glory of God. And last but not the least, the international partnership. Covenant University has continued to receive many international organizations wishing to partner with the university. Within this year alone, we have had some universities in the United States, United Kingdom, and other international organizations coming to seek partnership with the university. And these universities are, and there are just very few of them that we are, can, we are able to list here, St. George University, Grenada, West Indies. University of Nottingham, University of Alabama. It may interest us to know that the University of Alabama came with three professors all the way following the performance of the graduate of this university in their university coming top. And they said they have come to check what we are doing and how we are doing here to equally learn from Covenant University to the glory of God. And not Eastern University, Boston, United States, Next Ford University, Y Technologies, and Sahara Groups. And these companies came to recruit as students, and they have come to formalize a relationship to the glory of God. These are the doings of the Lord, and they are marvelous in our eyes. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 47 and verse 6, 
It says, sing praises unto God, sing praises to our God and to our King. May I respectfully ask us to rise as I invite the Covenant University Choir to lead us in a session of praises. If you reflect back, you will see what the Lord has done. In fact, you will have Hallelujah. innumerable reasons to give God the praise. Choir, please. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Did you go? Oh, yeah, not that was all. Did you go? Oh, yeah, the cocky. Oh, yeah, the cocky. Oh, my little. I couldn't say my walk. Oh, good day. Who let us say? Who let us say? Who let us say? Who let us say?
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Indeed, it is the doing of the Lord, and all of these acts are marvelous in our heart. To him alone be all the glory. We'll be receiving very shortly the Vice President Education Living Faith Church Worldwide, our mommy, 
Pastor Mrs. Faith Oyedeko as she comes to bring forth the Founder's Remark, Founder's Day's Remark. Let's celebrate Jesus as she comes forward. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. You may rise to in celebration and honor of Jesus. Let somebody shout the loudest, hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. Praise God. As you take your seat, would you please stretch your hands to your neighbor on both sides, shake their hands and say congratulations. <laughs> on the other side, congratulations. One more person, Andrew, with a smile on your face, congratulations. Again, put your wonderful hands together for the Lord. Praise God. Today, I count it a very great privilege to be here alive and well on the 21st. Amen. 21st Founders Day of Covenant University. The scripture I want to leave with us in this, my brief remark, is from the book of Psalms, chapter 1, 1, 5, and verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us. Let's read it together, please. Everybody want to go. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy truth and mercy's sake. Shout the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. We're here today celebrating the faithfulness of the Almighty God to the vision of Covenant University. We're all aware Covenant University is a product of God's ordained vision. 21 years ago, when the gates of Covenant University was opened, we were all there, and I was privileged to be one of the persons that were there that day. From the gate of Covenant University, we danced before the Lord, rejoicing all the way to the roundabout over here, and then we turned back to the gate. And today, 21 years after, we are here again, giving glory to God. Will somebody lift your hand and shout it loud? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If Jesus tarries 21 years from now, wherever you may be, you will be there in your multiplied state. Yes. Because the Thanksgiving of today is again a seed into the future. The Thanksgiving of 21 years ago was a seed into today. And the Thanksgiving of today shall be a seed that each one of us will harvest many, many years to come. Amen. Therefore, as we celebrate God today, let's make sure we do it from the depth of our heart. All of us here present today, management staff, faculty, students, well-wishers, especially those of us who are students. Remember the first day you stepped on this campus. Compare it to where you are today. Are you the same person? Spiritually the same person? Intellectually the same person? In your head the same person? You shall be great. And the best is yet to come for each one of us. Therefore, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. For all the presentations today, wonderful. Please help me give all of them a big, big, big God bless you. Reflections, choir, all of you, congratulations. Psalm 118 verse 23, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. God bless you.
For those heart stirring remarks, will you give Jesus another big hand of praise? He's worthy of all the glory. Taking us further in this celebration service, I want to specially welcome to the podium the Pro Chancellor, Covenant University Bishop David Abioye, for his remarks. Shall we rise on our feet, everybody, and give Jesus a big hand of praise as we receive our Pro Chancellor for his remarks? Make it bigger for Jesus is worthy. I thought it is Jesus you wanted to clap for. Make it louder. Make it bigger. God is a good God. Please get seated. Chancellor, sir. Today is a very unique day. In case you are not sure, you can ask your neighbor what is today's date. What is today's date? And what are we doing today? So it is double 21st. Somebody celebrate Jesus for that. There is no coincidence with God. Perhaps this is the first in the last 21st year that we have 21st day celebrating 21st anniversary celebration of Covenant University. Thank him for keeping us alive and for keeping the university alive to the glory and praise of his name. In my view, the number one and the last remark for today is thanksgiving. The alpha and the omega for this event is thanksgiving. There is nothing more we can do but to thank God because the things our eyes have seen are beyond description. Every wise man in scriptures always return. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. Hear the solo saying of Solomon. Then I returned. And in my returning, I saw thanksgivers always see something that makes them return. Those who don't return saw nothing. But those who see something will always return. I saw. What did you see that we are seeing today? The race of running a university is not to the swift. Nor the battle of construction to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise teachers, the professors. Nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But what happens to them? Time and chance. But that's not what has happened to us. Favor has happened to us. Times and season, they are full of guesswork, but we are full of assurance. Why? The foundation, the building to this moment has been thanksgiving, thanksgiving, thanksgiving. And that's what we have done again this morning. We are all perhaps familiar with the story of the one leper. He saw and he returned. If you give yourself to deep reasonings, you will always have reasons to thank God. We have reflected, and here we are here this morning to give thanks to him. It is foolishness not to return with thanksgiving. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Psalm 14, verse 1. You are not thanking God. The scripture describes you as a fool. You are thanking God, he describes you as the wise. David also returned. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 18. And he sat before the Lord. And said, who am I, O Lord? And what is my father's house? Who am I? Respectfully with the visioner, our chancellor. 
We've heard them say over and over again a statement like this. Who am I? What is my father's house? What background do I have that thou hast brought me either to? So he brought us to where we are. That's why we have returned this morning without delay. Delay in thanksgiving can lead to derailment of destiny. We are here to thank him today. Will you therefore, with thankfulness in our hearts, wave your hand and let us thank God together again. He's worthy of our praise. And he's worthy of our praise. To him alone be glory forever and ever and ever. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Let's lift up our hands again. Wave to the Lord. He's worthy. Rise to your feet with me, please, everybody. Let God hear something from you. You don't return with empty heart. You don't return with low voice. We return with a loud voice like the one leper. Somebody raise your voice. If you have truly returned, it will show in your voice. It will show in your disposition. It will show in everything that you are doing. To him be the glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks. Well, God's word is coming to us again. From the foundation, the word. Till this moment, the word. And forward movement, the word. Join me as we receive God's servant, our chancellor, Dr. David Oedeko, as God uses him to bless us this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. For oh, he is worthy of our praise. Lift up your hands and let's worship him. No man on earth should be. Give you all the glory, Jesus, for your mighty acts, your marvelous acts, your inexplainable but undeniable hand upon Covenant University. We ascribe all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration to you. Receive this of us this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have done, what you are doing, what you will still be doing. Thank you for it. Thank you for confirming your word in our midst. Thank you. Thank you for lifting your universe into heights. It's your place. It's your own. You are the runner. You are the founder. You are everything to this university. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. I start by congratulating every one of us for saying today and being part of this 
covenant service. Where we are doing what we must do to keep the hand of God upon Covenant University. Thanksgiving is not only required, it's demanded. And it's deserving. I start with Jeremiah chapter 13 and verse 15 to 17. Jeremiah 13 and 15 to 17. Hear ye and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. What has the Lord spoken? Verse 16. Give glory to God your God, the Lord your God, before he causes darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, where you look for light, he turns it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. Give thanks to God before he. So his time tagged. We are told in Every time you see something, it's on. We have seen the 21st. We return when we saw 20. We were here when we saw 90. We have returned now when we saw 21. If you haven't seen anything, you won't return. We have returned because we have seen the hand of God visibly in our midst. Now, hear what he said in verse 17. Of, it, of the same chapter. But if you will not hear... My soul shall weep in secret places for your pride. So it's pride not to return. It's pride to think it's an achievement. There is no achievement in the kingdom. All we have is engracement. We are what we are at any stage of our life by his grace. For your pride, because the laws, oh, he said, for your pride, and my eyes shall weep so. And run down with tears because the lost flock is carried away captive. You are not left at the same point. Unthankful people are under captivity, like we saw in that playlet. There was a devil there saying, What for? Complain more. You have a right to complain. Complain more. When he wants to be free, you press him. But the wife came carrying God's presence. In the name of Jesus, then the devil left. Unthankfulness is an oppression of the devil to rob you of God's best for your life. He will not succeed anymore. Amen. We are here where we are today because we are addicted to a lifestyle of thanksgiving. Let me also cast our minds back to the event of 21 years ago. The Lord said to me, hand it over to me now. After we danced from the gate of the university all around the, uh, what is it, uh, the runabout, and danced back, I led in the dance because he built it. We didn't have capacity to build it. We didn't have the speed to build it. We didn't have anything to make it happen. But in seven months, can you imagine the Lord building a whole campus that could accommodate 1,500 students on campus, on campus, with water flowing, with power flowing, sewage going, in seven months, in seven months. So we knew I was dancing. This is the hand of God. If you have the money, do you have the speed? The buildings are still standing. There are no bungalows. Four floor buildings. He did all of that in seven months. And you want to think that, oh my, you did something. Did what? That's the last thing you see. We dance to acknowledge that he did it. Now, we go to the gate and I say, boy, come on here. Hand it over to me now. I say, how, Lord? He said, lay, lay down this floor and I will take over. A number of our students are here, who are now faculty and staff. I lay down on the, I had a new white shirt, new. I came to thank God. He said, I should lie down. So, 
I removed my coat and lay down on the bare floor, the bare ground of covenant. Heat came. My understanding came alive on conventional heat. That's when I knew the meaning. I've had it told you several times. But that was the last heat forever. The last, the last heat. He said, hand it over to me and I will take it over. Now, please listen to me. This is not my thing. It's not our thing as a, job, as a church. It's Jesus' thing. Hand it over to me now and I will take it over. And he took it over from then. Not one day of praying to pay salaries. Not one day of praying to keep power going on, on, on campus. Not one day. No breaking in of robbers till now. You can you break into the den of a lion? He took it over. This street was the highway of armed robbers. They all got saved and settled down in church. <laughs> Praise God. There is no security measure under heaven that can provide that. There is no security measure under heaven. We are working here in the days of faith tabernacle. People are getting daily pay, about 2,000 people at a time. Nobody says, hey, stop there. There's your money. It's God's place, it's God's thing. Don't treat this as an industry, it's not a factory. This Jesus, in his invisible but undeniable form in the midst of his people. I'm always humble when I pass through here. Jesus, you are still much alive according to your word. This is your handiwork, not anybody else. Satan so got furious one day. I was in my office here in the chapel office. And I was there almost all night for hours in the night. And there was a cobra. A cobra climbed the stair and was out there in my bookshelf. They came to clean my office in the morning. Here was the cobra looking. When I walk in the night, I put up my shoes so I can relax my feet and then do my work thoroughly. So we had all the opportunity to, to eat me up. God is here. What we are saying now is God. Let nobody take pride in these things. What we are saying here is God. If I were not here, this thing will be happening because the one who owns it and is running it is about our life. So it's not about a person. It's about Jesus. Hand it over to me now. And I did 21 years ago. 21 years after, it is evidently evident that I took it over. Otherwise, who dark monkey banana that they would now put us first and put Unilag number four, number five, number, bad, number two, and everybody's wondering, what are they doing? Ask Jesus, what are you doing? Jesus is the one at work. Praise God. Jesus is the one. So we owe him all the thanks. We have never so good for students' enrollment. We never. We regulate, we control, we interview, we see, we screen. Ah, and according to us, what we have maintained that strong discipline, and you say, will this thing stand? Oh, yes, it's now being copied. Understand? It's now being copied all over the places. Awesome God. Summary this is the doing of the Lord. And it's marvelous in our eyes. This is the doing of the Lord, and it's marvelous in our eyes. This is the doing of the Lord, and it's marvelous in our eyes. This is the doing of the Lord, and it's marvelous in our eyes. This is the doing of the Lord, not the doing of a man or a group of people or a group of experts. This is the doing of the Lord. My Mora and myself did the first induction program for this university. There was no professor invited. Just shedding light on what God is saying to do and what is unique about this institution. Here we are today. He told me Covenant University will be the new generation Harvard. We have not started, and I announced it. I announced it is not the guesswork. So you can't transpa, transplant divine agenda. You can be a professor here for 50 years. This agenda is ordained for here. It's not that it's trans, transplanted. You don't transplant trees. 
You don't transplant trees. This is the place. Okay, it's only one place. There can be one place. He's backing up what he said because he said it. First Kings chapter 8, verse 15. First Kings 8, 15. Solomon said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which spake with his mouth unto David my servant, and as with his hand fulfilled it. Whatever God says is not the size of man to perform. Whatever God says, only God has capacity to perform it. He said to me one time, don't put words into my mouth. You will back it up yourself. So I'm cautious of what I say. Prophets are more peace of God. <laughs> cautious of what I say. This is God's thing. And his hand is the one performing it because I can't imagine I've been involved in building all my life. I mean, to have a whole campus with road network, with everything, with gutters, I mean, uh, drainage and everything. In seven months, March 6th to October 21, campus was ready. Students have moved in. Oh, only your God can do that. Only the God we serve can do that. It's all real. There's nothing, nothing vague about God. God is a tangible personality. He rules over the entire. Look at verse 24 of the same chapter. 1 Kings 8, 24. Repeated verbatim. He continued, God has kept with thy servant David, my father, that without promises him, you speak also with thy mouth, and has fulfilled it with thy hand, as it is this day. I like his ownership and his manifest presence to guide what we do on this campus. Let it guide what we do on this campus. I've said several and on this platform also, this covenant university will remain covenant university forever, not that I am gone to heaven when my time is going to name it David Uyghur. No, no, I can't own it. The one that owns this university, ever leave it. You don't divide somebody's inheritance and waste their life. Jesus that took it over, ever lives. You can't divide somebody's inheritance until his time is up. He's eternally alive, so this thing is eternally his. It shall remain covenant university forever, no matter who votes. After I've gone, that land, let's, let's vote. Let's forget about what he said. You can't forget about what I said. I will write it down as a law that anyone who shall break this has broken his own destiny. Don't, don't try it. I, I, why? The legacy of a man is not in the name of any building. No. It's on the impact on, life, on lives. It's on the, his impact, our impact on lives. <laughs> I said years ago, I said, there are a few millionaires in the world. By my own definition, millionaire is someone who has impacted on a million lives. How many have impacted on a million lives? They have some wealth in some corner, and they are breathing hard under it to sustain it. Every day. Every day. But Mother, Mother Teresa came and gave hope to the lepers as her lifelong task stood on the platform of UNA to address the nations of the world on our own seemingly ignoble mission, but impacting on lives. Life is so interesting. And before the Lord in this place, I don't have any property anywhere in the world. Is that sure? Oh, yeah. But I have investment in lives. That gives me all my joy. As he enabled me, as he enabled me, as he enabled me. Let's cautiously remain sensitive to the fact that Jesus owns this place. Anything done for this place is done for Christ. Everything done against this place is against Christ. He owns it.
You can't partner with Christ at a loss. Every partnership with Jesus turns another man to the envy of his world. Genuine partnership. Genuine partnership. He turned Peter's life around. Genuine partnership. Genuine partnership. No one can copy divine agenda. Is it that divine agenda or not? Divine agenda is unique to each person and each place. So when you locate a divine agenda somewhere and you are sent there by God, just set to aim and take your place. Gratitude is not a gift. It's not a calling. It's an attitude. Gratitude. There are ingrates everywhere in the world. That lady in that uh, playlet was telling the husband, have we ever, ever begged for what to eat in this house? Let's thank God. Would the house rent be the only reason why you're, uh, uh, God has not done anything? Satan was behind it. Don't thank God for anything. God is not worthy of anything. What has God done for you? They are going to chase you out of the house. The woman is harassing you. Look at your life. <laughs> he said, look at us. He said, what is happening to us? And when he's trying to recover, the devil will come again and say, no, don't agree. When he said, Jesus' name, then he, he fled. Ingratitude is a strategy of the devil to rob a believer of the best in God. Don't let him have it. I said yes, if you have lost anything, God is the reason why you have not lost everything. Would you know you have lost anything if you are dead? Is anything more valuable in your life? So, the one who sustains your life is worthy of acknowledgement work worthy of thanksgiving. Let everything that has bread. You may not have anything, not everybody that has a car. Everything that has bread, praise the Lord. Because you need bread to sustain any other blessing. So without your bread, and how many people here have ever thanked God for their bread? They just think it's free. And I thank God for my bread. All the people in town in are breathing. All the amrobas are breathing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, they breathe today and you can't find them tomorrow. They have no address. Every operation is always at a loss of one or two or three. Others are incapacitated every night, every night, every night. You sleep every day, you wake up every day. We are not thanks because we are not thanking God because we, are, we don't know what to do. We are doing what we must do to keep his hand upon our life. It's an attitude. I close with the following lines. One cannot be grateful and not be joyful. At the root of the pressure is ingratitude. See me now. They say, what's the matter? See my shirt. What's happening with your shirt? Is this the kind of shirt I should be wearing? Which one should you be wearing? People just look at things. You, I don't have a wristwatch. Okay, who is asking you, where's your wristwatch? And then you're a man, you have one shot on it. Nobody knows whether you have this watch or not. What's your problem? Every telephone has a number, has time. People concern about things that are ephemeral, things that don't count. By the manipulations of the devil, to rob them of the best. When you thank God for what he has done, you remind him of what remains. 
One returned. He said, now you are made whole. Others were cleansed. Oh, you are made whole. You are, your dignity is restored for returning. Let's be thankful that will lead to preservation of his blessings, multiplication of it, and perfection of the same. So behind what is happening now is the grace granted us to keep God's hand upon this university through genuine gratitude in raw display at all times unashamedly. Unashamedly, sir. We are going to be alive when covenant will be one in the world. Amen. One. And will be one sustainably. Will be one continuously. Because of the one whose hand is upon covenant university. They call him the most high. Whatever he does is most high. <laughs> the most high. The most high is the one behind the events of covenant. It's not expertise. It's not skill. The most high. He shall be called the son of the highest. So we belong to the order of the highest. And the highest is the one in charge of this place. So who can make it otherwise? All we need to do, sir, is to ensure we keep the hand of God upon this university by being eternally grateful for every stage, for every stage, for every stage. Covenant came on scene, and for the first time, there was a reverse of what you to be in those days in Nigeria. Companies were coming here to hire our students upon graduation. Banks line up. No, 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 that's still happening. Longest time, longest time. It began here. It began here. God, you opened it here. It's not mouth say it, there are real things. They're all over the places. Three professors came from Alabama because of the performance of our students from chemical engineering. They wanted to know where they came from, sir. They came here and sought immediate collaboration. What? What? In Africa? What? Why? The one that's behind it. Jesus. It's not the chancellor, not the pro-chancellor, not the board of regents. Not the church. You think church is providing? No. Who is providing for the church? God. <laughs> God. I'm asking you to recognize, or to acknowledge why we owe God. We owe him. We owe God. It's a debt we must pay to keep his favor flowing. We owe God thanks. We owe him thanks. It's a debt we must continue to pray, pray all the days of our lives. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One cannot be grateful and not be joyful. Now, one cannot be joyful and not be praiseful. Is any merry, let him sing. Oh Lord, you are mighty. She be one of you, She be one of you, your heart is welling up with songs because you are joyful in the Lord. He said rejoice in the Lord. Not rejoice in things. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say what? Rejoice. Rejoice evermore. Though the fruit may not blossom, there might not be fruit in the vine, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will join the God of my salvation. I will make my feet like I feet. Get me up upon, upon my high places. It's a mystery of the kingdom, sir. When you are grateful, you'll be joyful. When you're joyful, you'll be praiseful. And when you are praiseful, you'll be Godful because God inhabits the praise of his people. And that turns to a wonder to your world. You become a wonder to your world because <laughs> it's like unto your God. It's like thee. Beautiful in holiness. Wonderful in praises. Doing wonders. You are full of God by being full of praise, then it turns to a living wonder to your world. It turns to a living wonder to your world. If you check our mission, our addiction to 
what some people may call senseless praise. I brought to work this senseful realm. Everything we saw it as worthy of God's presence. We built a grass, grass criteria in Kaduna. The way we dance. What is happening to this? Are they mad? How can you be building grass criteria in a, in a city? We are coming. <laughs> we are coming. We are coming. We dance and dance in that two miserable plots that is waterlogged. And the Kadapote was 13 acres of property in the center of the city. Nonsense. Okay, whether we nonsense or full sense, you know. <laughs> we built Freddie Casey Price Hall within two weeks. We danced like Jaka to celebrate God. And then suddenly, the Dominion Cathedral was built by his raw supplies. And then we came down here and we saw him build. I saw him build. This church could not build a tabernacle. I knew where we were. What he spent, what he expended on Faith Tabernacle was far above our income. Far above. So where is it coming from? And yet you are not stealing. Come and say God. <laughs> and that's what has happened to us in this university. We have never suffered any lack. In the name of Jesus, may our privileged presence in this place lead to making a big difference in our lives. Covenant University is God's business. Jesus runs this place. Jesus owns it. So we are unashamed of our emphasis on spirituality. That's our root. We're coming from. That's where we're coming from. Is that psychology to lie down before everybody, students who are there, their parents who are there? What kind of a mad chancellor is this? Amen. It's to show who owns it. They must know that you don't own it. Let them know I own this place. And I had no problem doing that. That was the last day that shirt was worn because there was nothing there anymore. It has soaked all the kind of debt from the ground. But it removed all kind of debt from my life. Let's honor Jesus. Let's honor Jesus. Psalm 22, verse 3. God inhabits the praises of his people. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. He dwells in the midst of praise. You can't find God where you can't find praise. You can't find fish where you can't find water. You can't find fish wherever you can't find water. And when the sea saw God in the midst of his people, it fled. <laughs> so it makes you more than a conqueror. Divine presence, the greatest asset of a believer. And praise one of those core facilitators of that presence. You wake up in the morning, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You sing your life on. <laughs> Amen. Olorun to to bi Olorun baba gba Aye o gba o o forun se bugbe Orun o gba o o fa ye sa po ti stile Olorun to to bi Bega bega o e ba mi gbe Jesu ga o You just sing your life but you know I don't have strength but I have his presence His presence is what people fear around my life I mean the wicked. The wicked fear him. The wicked fear because they know when he reacts, not me. When he reacts against your standing on my way, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Everybody has the right to carry his presence if you know what it takes. Stop that complaining and murmuring. It's taking nobody anywhere. They that murmur were destroyed, they were not helped. Hmm? First Corinthians 10, 10. They were destroyed. The people complained, and God had it displaced them, and a plague came upon them. So stop it. It doesn't move you forward. It doesn't. I hate to hang around complainers. I hate it. I hate it. It's very contagious. What do you say about Nigeria? 
Nigeria is very bad. Nigeria cannot move forward. Nigeria can move There's no way anybody can improve Nigeria. They're just wasting our time. If you, you better get out of this country. There's nothing here. If you get out of where you belong, you will see what you don't want to see. As a bird wanders from her nest, so it's a man that wanders from his place. There are folks around the world today biting their fingers for dislocating, not relocating. They are dislocated. Many of them know where to return to. Many of them know where to return to. It's a dislocation, not a relocation. I thank God we're in the center of the center of God's will in this commission. We are doing what he bids us to do. May you, young people, locate where you belong in God's agenda and abide there. Yeah. That's where your security is. That's where your dignity is. That's where everything you, <laughs> that belongs to you in Christ is. Again, to God be all the glory. In closing, there is nothing good here that has not been done by him. <laughs> I said in the mission, every good thing here God did, any bad thing you did, I'm responsible. Any bad thing you see, I'm responsible. For every good thing you see, God did. All things I see that the Lord is good. He's always good. Always good. Give thanks to the Lord for it's good. And his message endures forever. So all of those accolades, all of those awards, all of those liftings of students, of faculty, of staff, Jesus, 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 Jesus. See your promotion, Jesus. See your you know, change of level in your grades, in your studies, Jesus. See your health transformation, Jesus. If you see Christ behind everything, returning becomes easy. Returning becomes what? Easy. Returning becomes easy. Returning becomes easy. Returning becomes easy. It's a turn of a new day for us. As said by, um, on this platform today, over and again, this is the Lord's doing, and it's what? Marvelous and and as we thank him for today, the same way we are, remind, we are remembering 21 years ago, 21 years to come, we remember today and say again, Jesus, we are here. It's now 21 years after that 21, 21, 23 that we are here. There will be only one of these who, in the world. 21, 21, 23. No, next year is 24. So even if 21 is on Saturday, it is now 24, it's not 23 anymore. We saw your hand here at 21 to this date, 21 more years. Wherever we may be in the world, because as the Lord lives, all of us will be living in longevity, uh, we'll still be here. Can I hear your amen? amen? We'll still be here. All of us will be living in longevity, we'll still be here. I was looking at one of the papers yesterday and I saw one of those, my uh, sages, at one who sees. I saw the note he wrote for his message, the note. Because I demanded for it when he showed me. I said, can I have his son? I attached one of his documents in my hand. The note he wrote by his hand at 106. And stood to preach, not that he supported him. Stood to minister at 106. He was a lawyer for the minister of the gospel at 106. Life is so interesting. Just project forward. You are getting there. No devil is succeeding to down your life. Amen. And no one here will ever bury their children. Amen. Young people, your parents will not bury you. Amen. Your life will not be cut short. Amen. You will not miss your road in life. Oh. You will not miss your road in life. Amen. You will not miss your road in life. Amen. I thank God I didn't miss my way to America and stay there. I, I thank God I didn't miss my way there. 
there is no way God will be doing what he wants to do here, there. God is a God of order. He has order for the life of his people. Before I formed you the womb, I knew you. I separated you to your assignment and to your location. I will appoint a place. He appoints places for us. May you know me to your appointed place. Many are supposed to be great employers of labor. They are seeking for a job day and night in some other countries. Day and night, they sack them because they didn't send them there. No, I don't want to see you anymore. Here, get out. He's not sent there. He's a wandering star. He's a wandering star. No one of you will be a wandering star. No one will bite his finger for a dislocation. You will abide in your place in God. As you connect to what's happening in this university, it will show you where you belong. Amen. You will not get out and be guessing. Amen. Your life will be full of order Amen. in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise, please? Isn't God great, sir? Isn't God good, sir? Paul said, I know no man after the flesh. So with all that God has done here, we don't have a man to point to, sir. I said, university, that if not for this man, isn't God awesome? That if not for this man, if not for this company, eh? not one. 21 years running, as if we are doing nothing. Because he's the one doing everything. He says, God who has work in us. He's at work in us. People think we are the one they are clapping for us. He's at work in us. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. To him be all the glory. Join me. Lift up your two hands one more time. And let us give him thanks. Jesus, now I know you truly own this place. Your diverse manifestations, I prove that you own this place. The strange liftings of this university from inception is a proof that you own this place. And that you are running this place is, can't be doubted. <laughs> no lack, no want. How? How? No leaven of people. How? Not one day of recent offering in church to support the run of the university. How? You really took over. Thank you, Jesus. Help me lift up your hands and give him thanks. Give him thanks. We call him the founder, the founder, the runner. He is. He's everything. He's everything. He's everything to us in this university. He's everything to us in this university. The excellent performance of students is God. His presence is making the difference in their lives. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him glory. There is no one like him. No one like our God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Well, we are going to do last round of dancing and then share the goodness. Amen. Never mind the system. I think the uh, central AC is switched up, but we are on. We have the breath of the Holy Spirit here. Amen. Amen. Would you please stand up there and let's sing some raw Nigerian songs. Nigerian songs. Let's dance to the God who saw Nigeria fit for this kind of establishment. Let's thank him for making a name for Nigeria from this platform. Amen. Someone, one of you to please come on. Hallelujah. Dance you Lord, you are worthy to sing Kabila Osi, oh Baba, your majesty, oh Nishai Anu, dance Akira, we praise you Lord, oh we sing Kabila Osi, oh Baba, oh we ready, oh dance Akira, Oh, 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 oh,
Shall we lift our two hands and receive the prophetic blessings for this service? Jesus, thank you again. Haven't given you thanks from our heart for this awesome 24 year, 21 years. Let the next 21 years result into multiplied grace, Amen. multiplied impact, Amen. both on the university, Amen. the faculty and staff, Amen. and our students. Amen. Let greater impact be made manifest. Amen. I decree today a fresh baptism of an excellent spirit Amen. upon our faculty and staff, and our students. Amen. Lord, surprise us with next level performance from henceforth. Amen. Let every year be a major plus on the previous. Amen. A time is going to come in here when 80% will be in the first class range. Amen. A time is coming on here when nations will come in here to seek among students those who will help their nation. Amen. And I pray that no one here will derail. I pray that no one here would derail. Amen. I pray that no one here would derail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, young people understand that spirituality is the security of your destiny. That's, you live in a very wicked world. If you don't know God, you don't have a future. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be otherwise minded is death. To be otherwise minded is death. You live in a money crazy era. Caution. If you leave God behind, you can't get in front. It's the backing of the Almighty that may frontline us. You are being educated in spiritual matters. You are not being forced. So release your heart to develop spiritual capacity that will put you in command of the affairs of life. Where you'll be prevailing, where others are traveling. Don't ever leave God behind. He's the custodian of your dignity, your destiny, your future, your, your posterity, everything about your life. Grace to remain genuinely spiritual and growing in the same. Receive it right now. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. Someone was accosted with the spirit of insanity, and I had compassion in the relation. And I wanted to go out there and, you know, minister to him. And the Lord said, stop that. You are meant to be in that position. Sir, I would have been mad. He boomeranged. And they too prankteno shiane. One of our students, uh, Igu's here, was struck. He was just in a business meeting. And then uh, that was it. He went off. They had to cry down here. Everybody needs to be spiritually robust. To secure his destiny in this age, sir. In this age. If God did not deliver that man through his wife in that playlet, he can commit suicide. It's small, small, small like that. What am I living for? My wife is about to deliver. They have chased me from the house. Oh, I don't have money. My promotion is not forthcoming. It's better to die. Oh. So Satan said, You are taking the right decision. The best is to die at this point. What are you living for? What's life about? Can't afford to be a responsible man. Okay, can now you be? Can you now be responsible as a dead man? No, it just confuses people because they are empty. They are spiritually empty. You can't be spiritually robust and then hit the rock in your marriage. You can't be. You can't be. And keep on making mistakes every day, running into mistake, misinvestment, disinvestment here and there. No. Grace to keep building your spiritual capacity in your journey. In spite of the skill required in your various careers, receive it right now. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. I pray that your success in school will not result into failure in life. Amen. I pray that your first class in school will not result into last class in life. Amen. I pray that your life will keep shining brighter and brighter by the day. Amen. As the Lord lives, you will see more than I see Amen. in my walk with God. Amen. You see what I, more than I see in my following divine agenda for my life. Amen. 
I pray that no one's parents here will weep over them. Amen. No one here will break the hearts of their parents. Amen. You will not break the hearts of your guardians. Amen. In the name of Jesus. What? Faculty and staff. Be blessed. Amen. No one partners with Jesus as a loss. Be blessed. Amen. Whatever may appear a concern in anyone's life or family, today as we celebrate his presence here, I decree a turn around. Amen. In anyone's head, a turn around. Amen. The head of any members of your family, a turn around. Amen. I command an end to all satanic oppression in any form Amen. in the lives of both faculty, staff, and students. Amen. Nightmares end today. Amen. From now shall be Jesus encounters in your sleep. Amen. Encounter with the angels of God in your sleep. Amen. In the name of Jesus. All that see the thanksgiving of today as the Lord tarries, you'll be alive and well in your multiplied state 21 years to come. Amen. If Jesus will come before then, we'll all be raptured to be with him for eternity. Amen. No one here shall miss his place in eternity. Amen. Everyone here shall make heaven at last. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Faculty, staff, when God commends you, he changes your level. May each one of us continue to earn God's commendation. Amen. Man's commendation is a, it's a mere accolade. But when God commends you, sir, the struggle ends. He said, you are, he said well done, you are faithful. Now, half of 30 over 10 cities. It's God who changes people when he commends them. May each one receive grace to earn God's commendation Amen. on this campus. Amen. When God commends you, he changes your story. You won't miss that. You will not 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 miss that. God once said to me, my son David, I'm pleased with you. It was more than a billion dollars gift to me. December 1987, I was worshiping him. I'm pleased with you. What? Things began to change. At the rate too terrible. When God commands you, he keeps changing your story. May no one ever miss God's commendation. Amen. May the commendation of yesterday not turn to condemnation today. Amen. Grace to stay winning his commendation, receive it right now. Amen. That covers all of our students also. Be Amen. faithful in your stewardship. Amen. And as God commends you, he keeps changing your story. Amen. One of you shared the testimony now that I'm doing well in my business. You remember that testimony? I mean, uh, that is already an employee of labor, why a student? I'm trying. One of you gave me a pair of shoes one time. He said, this is what I do, sir. I'm not a graduate. You remember? He gave me a pair of shoes. Wear a package. And he was just graduating. He's just going for NYC. I mean, <laughs> this is what I do, sir. He said, I pray that this will fit you. Now, uh, when I saw what she, did, what she does, it, that, that's excellent. That's excellent, sir. Yes, sir. I kept the pack. Yes, sir. I need to remind myself. Someone here caught some creative insight and began to do this thing as a student. My God, you can't do shoe making alone. So he has people that are working for her. She was a student. My prayer is that none of you will be stranded in life. Amen. One of you went into fashion design and did his 10th anniversary at the time and sent me a package of what he does. What? I sent for him. May you encounter creative insight in the course of your stay at Covenant. Amen. Not one of you will be on your mother's lap on leaving school. Amen. No one will be a burden on any of your relations. Amen. The Lord will cause your mind to become fertile. Amen. Every one of you will earn legitimate income. You will not be found with illegitimate business. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Lord Jesus, watch over us. Amen. The next 21 years, Amen. both as an institution Amen. and as individuals. Amen. And over all our alumni people. Amen. Let it be, Lord. Let everyone connected to this university in one way or another. Continue to enjoy the blessings of this place. Amen. In Jesus' precious name.
Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. And now help me congratulate at least four people around you, in front of you, by your, in front of you, by, behind you, around where you see everybody, a warm, lovely, handshake with smiles, everybody, everybody. Give them the smile of your life. It's a dawn of a day, dawn of a new day. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Shall we together? Amen. This dancing continues in the chapel services tomorrow. Are you excited about that? Amen. God is worthy of even 21 days of thanksgiving for this solid 21 years of no concern. The next 21 years, one years of your life will be with no concern. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Together, let's share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm covenant permanent. Uh, on the covenant highways of life. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant highways of life. Congratulations. Congratu so sing us out of this service, please. Huh? <laughs>
Let us go to the house of the Lord. Ori, aha. I've got joy, 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 oh joy, 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 joy. Oh yeah. In my life, say. Covenant University, Covenant University for the last time. Children 
children of God. We are shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah to the Lord and stars. A commitment to God. Are you ready? Hey, hey, uh, 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 hey. 